Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead and good morning. I come out early today because we got home very late last night. Much later than we wanted to, there was a bad wreck going to Cleveland, Tennessee. A death, unfortunately, so it delayed our trip to and from Cleveland. And so I didn't get to get out here and check my bees and to most likely I'm pulling my feeders. So most people in the valley now have already pulled their feeders because we are in full nectar flow but we left ours on a little bit longer. They're probably empty now. I'm gonna pull them and we're also gonna pull the covers, change the covers. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna to try to film as much as I can. I try to work a little bit because I keep my gloves on. I have not been stung yet. I shouldn't even talk about it. <laughs> um, but it is hard to film with these gloves on, but you do wanna, you know, you wanna be safe. So I may change, I've been told there's some really great gloves I can change to that have a little tip where I can hit the camera, which I do have a different camera now too. So, la 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 la. <laughs> so let's find out how it's going in here. Now, the last time we checked our bees, we're trying to stay on about an every 10 day or so inspection. Um, I will come down and look every day or every other day, just real, real quick and easy. But as far as getting into the actual inspection part, about every 10 days. So we added a box. And it's been about 10 days we added another box because they were filling up the space all the way in the other two we have a lot of brood we had a lot of capping and a lot of good things going on so it was time to add i don't think we're going to be adding just yet but we may not be too far we're going to find out so we're going to pull the feeders change the covers kind of look and see what's going on hopefully i can get some good footage and i hope you're having a good morning let's go see our bees so here we have our little toolbox with everything done in here. I'm not smoking or doing anything like that. I'm just kind of throwing everything in there and the new cover. So let's come over here and see what's going on. Oh, they're busy. See? They're busy doing good. Yesterday was really, really awesome. Um, of course, I got out down here and mowed and weed-eated and trimmed up and cleaned everything up. And I've added some fake flowers. We're so far from the house, it is hard to keep water down here. It's been really wet and then really dry. So I've added some flowers with color. Um, just to kind of help distinguish them in terms of getting back and forth to their hives. So far, so good. So I'm going to remove all of this and we will see what we find. Okay, you can see there's a few ants in here. Oh my. And uh, they're busy down in here. You see them? Okay. And these are my feeders. So we're going to pull them and we're going in to be, change the cover right here so they can get out more and pull that I'm just going to set these jars down here so hopefully we won't be feeding having to feed until we push into uh, there's a, actually look here they actually didn't take it all they're just done they're just done there's so much uh goodness out outside of the hive why take this junk when you can get the real deal right all right let's get in here and see okay in order to pop this i'm gonna have to use my tool here see here hope i'm getting this I can't see the camera and the goats are ready to be fed too. you hear them up there fussing so okay we've popped it and I'm gonna set the camera down okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this over to my left I'm going to pull the second frame from the side okay I've started pulling from the second one as opposed to the first one so we don't roll the queen out if she's on that first the outer frame that's a great tip there from be uh, Cherokee beekeepers wouldn't have thought of that but ironically we you know we're told that tip and the last time we checked guess where our queen was literally on the far outside right here on these last frames so it was very good that we didn't pull that one first and then we accidentally roll her out because then you got a whole another issue right all right let's move to the next phase Okay, so I'm in on the third frame. As you can see, I moved the first one to the far right. Not much going on there. Then I moved the second one over onto my frame holder, okay? And then I, I inspected it, but they're building on it, but there's not a whole lot going on there. But now I'm into the third, and I don't know if you can see, but if you look down into each capsule, you literally are seeing eggs, and uh, the beginning of larva, okay? So this is what I'm looking for, so so far, so good. I'm gonna look at a few more, but I'm gonna put this one back and I'm gonna put my glove back on because when I popped this open, they were like, hey, uh, we're busy down here. But isn't this beautiful? Aren't they wonderful? You have got to love this. What a blessing. Look at that. 
Good morning, girls. Good morning. Okay, so in this first one, I slid the first frame, pulled the second, looked at it, set it to the side on the hanger, and looked at the third frame in. I had eggs and brood, or larva, okay? So I went ahead and stopped, put everything back, put on this new cover, I'm gonna show you right here, with the notch, and then covered it up. Over here, I've already taken it off, got my gloves on, of course, and all of the feeders are dry and they're very busy so this hive tends, tends to be a little bit calmer <laughs> than this one so this is good so i'm just going to slide this first frame okay and i'm popping loose it's starting to get really sticky okay now i'm going to take up this second one and they're just now starting to work on this second one just like with this one over here you can see they're just starting so I'm just simply going to bring this over it's hard to see a little bit you got to work real slow and real patient like okay now we're coming into the third one. You can snap some pictures too while you're at it, James. That'd be great. Mm. All right, I'm starting to see some nice things over here. So hopefully we'll see what we're looking for. I don't know if you can see the difference. There's the queen right there. Right there she is, so see, already into the third frame you have the queen right here she is literally right there um, I am seeing eggs and she's going from going from town to town as they say so very good so everything even on uh, hive B Miss Betty here so the so the queen is already all the way up here right there marked queen All right, I'm gonna put it back because, oh wow, look here. Busy, busy, busy. And we are seeing eggs over here. So I'm not gonna go any further for now. I'm gonna leave it be as they say. Very busy in here, and I'm gonna place her. Where'd she go? I'll make sure I see her. She's right there. Place her right back in here. Very carefully. Very gently. Okay. Take the second, put it back in its spot. Try not to get them out of order. I have to talk to I have to talk myself through this to make sure I'm doing it right. And slide this back. Okay, and then we're gonna make our, our frame space here, away from the outside, back together. We haven't moved from this side, so I'm okay there. All is well. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Slide this back on. Notch. Place the lid and we are good to go. <sighs> all right guys, we're gonna conclude the video. So far, so good on all the bees. We have boxes ready for the next edition. That's good, we have a few more th frames to build. But uh, I'm probably gonna be adding maybe on the next one, so we will find out. Everything looks good. Boy, I'll tell you what, it's not even August yet. 
Y'all take care out there and we'll see you on the next video.